your table we come to you knowing that you invite us to be part of your mission to be part of a relationship that is everlasting and Lord yes we so often forget how big you are and how great that promise is we forget how we are connected with you in times of sailing through the stormy times in our life. And we forget how we are connected 
with all people who call upon your name. And we come to you this day. We come to you to worship. We come to you to remember. We come to you with the yearning heart of you coming and touching each and every one of our souls with your spirit. To show us again your grace and to overflow us with your spirit and your love. So be with us as we come and worship. Because we are thankful that we can come to worship with our sisters and brothers in Christ. Because we are thankful that you called us. And we are thankful that we are here to respond to your ways. So be with us, Lord. Be with us as we walk in this journey of following your call together. Be with us as a church that we can become blessed and become a blessing unto this world. That we can do what you call us to do. But more than that, Lord, that we can share the great and beautiful name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Continue to work in us. Transform our lives first so our lives can go and share the light that transforms this world. And especially today as we are commissioning and sending off eight of our Roanoke District United Methodist Church mission teams to Puerto Rico Viequas. We ask that your grace will be abundant upon us, but also abundant upon our members who are being sent to share your light. Lord, guide them in their every steps. Lord, be with them in their journey. But more than that, Lord, help them see how you are ahead of them and leading them to share a light more than a solar panel. To share the light of Jesus Christ into the people that they meet. And guard us and protect us with your spirit to continue to navigate in this world with the light that you shine upon us. And today as we worship and as we are privileged to have Sharon Jones to come and share your words and the work that you are doing through your servant. May we open up our hearts and our ears and our spirit to wholly receive your ways and respond to the challenge that you give us. But as we walk in this world and this challenge, we know that there are so many things that we cannot do on our own. So we offer them to prayer, them to you in prayer, knowing that you are a God who listens and faithfully answers to all our prayers. Lord, listen to our prayers. We offer these prayers with the prayer that you had taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Stay our daily bread. Give us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation. Deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever. Amen.